Good day, my friends. This is Lloyd at the Las Vegas Neon Museum, also known as the Neon Boneyard. This is my actually first time inside. It's been open to the public for five years. I started peeking through its fence before it opened to the public, but had never gotten in here. But today, uh, today is their fifth anniversary, and it's open to everyone for free. I am going to attempt a more or less silent video, meaning I'm not going to tell stories unless I change my mind. And, um, but I will do a slow pass and you will get to see really the only functional Las Vegas museum there is. Um, we've got a atomic testing museum, we've got a mob museum. But this is, I think, the only Vegas museum that counts. So, here we go. I'll start out with a lie and tell a story about the La Concha. The photo that you're going to see on my... Go ahead. Uh, that you're going to see on my as my uh, Facebook cover photo for a short time is the old La Concha Motel. Bizarrely shaped thing. And uh, they very painstakingly moved the entire building to this locale because it's pretty cool and this was its sign no vacancy for the time being uh, the silver slipper was one of our classics this is one of its earliest signs. And this is an old one from Caesars. The Frontier, no longer with us. Can you repeat what's on the radio, please? Long replaced sign from Binion's Horseshoe, which is still in action. Very old one from the Sahara. Jerry's Nugget is in my neck of the woods, North Las Vegas. They've simply replaced their sign. There is a sign from our dearly recently departed Riviera Hotel. They've got the light bulbs functional. Very nice. Another old one from the Silver Slipper. Sorry, I didn't say it. 
flipper. I really don't know to what extent I'm getting these because the sun is glaring on my viewfinder, but huge one here from the Stardust, also long gone. Yeah, I think we're trying to find the right one. from the old Aladdin, which is now Planet Hollywood. From the now departed Liberace Museum. from long before marriage equality. Las Vegas Club, which still exists downtown. The Desert Rose had the greatest of all the old, old neon signs. It was also, I think, Vegas' first pet-friendly motel. Long ago, bulldozed before we started blowing things up. Stayed there probably oh, close to 30 years ago after an early power failure. This was a very nice neon. I wish it was lit up for the yucca. Sassy Sally's downtown. It's kind of exists, but it's about to be put out of business. One of the oldest signs down here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, man, and this must be 
Fitzgerald's, which is still downtown, but it has become the D, single letter D motel, hotel. Very old golden nugget sign. Well, that was indeed among the first Vegas hotels 100 years ago. Binion's Horseshoe, still downtown, but with newer signs. The Fox Theater was well off the strip. It was in the vicinity of one of my early homes in Vegas, but we don't have any um, non-casino related movie theaters anymore. Cowboy Guard. This is so huge, I can't tell what it is. Thank you, sir. No, it's impressive, but I'm not sure what it is. Oh, this is from the Moulin Rouge. Great history here. It was the hotel for people of color to frequent when they weren't allowed on the strip. And that's even including the performers that packed them in on the strip, but were forced to leave the property after their show was finished. And, um, and that included the likes of Sammy Davis Jr. And all of the greats. And those days are gone, thank goodness. But... This is what's left. <laughs> El Cortez, which still exists downtown. Uh, here's the Moulin half of the Moulin Rouge. Yeah, I can't take credit for that. We didn't even notice. Yeah. Was it really great back in the day? Yeah, it was. No, there was no golden number. What is that? 1905 from? That is just a little monster. But that piece is from the golden nugget. Yeah, that's the golden nugget in the middle. Well, that is a complete pass around the place. What I cannot help but notice is that I hope this is the crude beginnings of a work in progress. This looks more like Sanford and Sons front yard than it looks like a uh, a museum for Vegas's sensational history. Uh, they need to kind of kind of build a real city and kind of put these things up the way they were meant to be put up instead of just leaning against something. But it's a start. I'm glad it's here.